word forms and endings in English. This video is brought to you by the following English learning websites. In this video, we'll talk about how word forms can be recognized by their endings, how suffixes, endings, can change a word's part of speech, how suffixes can affect a word's spelling and pronunciation. Parts of speech include nouns, verbs, adjectives, adverbs, etc. Let's start with the verb endings. As you know, there are many verb endings that don't change the verb to another part of speech. These are dealt with in our other videos. See links in the description below this video. For example, ending, function, examples. See our other videos below. Ending, s or es. The function is third person singular. Examples, eats, works, goes, tries. We have a video which deals with that. S endings in English. ING indicates progressive tenses. Eating, running, working, hoping. We have another video which deals with that. Verb endings in English. ED indicates regular, past and past participles. Worked, played, planned, cried. Our other video, final ED endings in English, deals with that. Irregular verb endings indicate irregular past and past participles. For example, eaten, found, told, brought. And sometimes we even change the word, like went. We have another video that deals with that. Irregular verbs finally explained. How can we recognize English verbs by their endings? Here are some examples of words with verb endings. When you see the verb ending, you can sometimes in know that it indicates a verb. I-S-E or I-Z-E. Advertise, advise, criticize, organize. What's the difference between these two spellings? Generally, in British English, they use I-S-E endings, and for some of these verbs, in American English, we use the I-Z-E ending. A-T-E, communicate, relate. I-F-Y, verify, clarify, specify. E-N, soften, strengthen. And then we have the other verb endings that don't change the part of speech. S and ES, eats, goes. The word remains a verb. ING, cleaning, doing. These are in a different color because they also indicate a noun or an adjective. ED in the past and past participle. Past participle. Talked, played. These can also indicate an adjective. Notice the pronunciation and stress patterns for these verbs. Ending, examples, two syllables, more than two syllables. For ISE, IZE, and YZE, which is another variation of this, we have words like advertise, advise, criticize, organize, analyze. When there are two syllables in the verb, the second syllable is emphasized or stressed. For example, advise, arise, revise. If there are more than two syllables, the first syllable of the word is emphasized. Advertise televise, organize, synthesize, capitalize, realize. For A-T-E, communicate, 
relate. If there are two syllables, the second syllable is stressed. Relate, debate, create, berate. For more than two syllables, the third syllable from the end is emphasized. Designate, celebrate. Notice these are three syllable words, so the third syllable from the end is the first syllable of the word. For the next two, communicate, procrastinate. These are four syllable words, so the third syllable from the end is actually the second syllable of the word. IFY, verify, clarify, specify. For these, if there are more than two syllables, the syllable before the ending is stressed. For example, verify, signify, declassify. EN, soften or threaten. In this case, if there are two syllables, the first syllable is emphasized. Frighten, weaken. For more than two syllables, the syllable right before the ending is stressed. Unfasten, re-strengthen. Note, when you add another ending to the verb, the stress does not change on the original verb. For example, I revised my essay. Revise, revised. The stress does not change even though we add the past tense ending. There's no new syllable in this example. In the second example, we debated the topic. Debate, debated, debating. There's no stress change, but there is an extra syllable with the extra ending. I celebrated my 21st birthday. No stress change, even though there's an extra syllable with the past tense ending. Verb endings can be complicated in English. Wait till you see the adjectives. Adjective endings involve some changes in both spelling and pronunciation. Word endings, adjectives. Ending, examples. O-U-S, I-O-U-S. Humorous, hilarious. A-L, I-A-L. Mental, influential. F-U-L. Wonderful, beautiful, L-E-S-S, -S, careless, thoughtless, I-V-E, -E, creative, positive, I-S-H, foolish, greenish, I-C, generic, specific, A-B-L-E -E, and I-B-L-E, -E, flexible, available, A-R-Y, primary, voluntary, Y. Thrifty, glossy, ing, interesting, amusing. These are in blue because they also indicate verb endings, but in this case they're adjectives. ed, bored, embarrassed, ent, and ant. These are in purple because they also indicate noun endings, but in this case they are adjectives. For example, distant. Consistent. Many adjectives and adjective endings indicate that the word comes from another part of speech. For example, success plus full equals successful. Noun plus full equals adjective. Create plus IVE equals creative. Verb plus IVE equals adjective. Notice there's some spelling changes here. Green plus ish equals greenish. Adjective plus ish indicates another adjective. Note the spelling changes. Let's look at how that works. Spelling changes. Ending, examples, notable spelling changes. Full. Wonderful, beautiful, 
With wonderful, the original word does not change. With beautiful, the noun beauty ends with a Y. We need to change the Y to I before adding the F-U-L ending. Careless, thoughtless, no change in the ending here. Penny ends in a Y. The Y changes to an I before we add the L-E-S-S. -S. Pennyless. O-U-S, I-O-U-S. Humorous, various. Notice V-A-R-Y, very, changes to V-A-R-I-O-U-S. There are some other changes with some words like this as well. For example, continue ends in a silent E. We drop the silent E before we add the ending. Continuous. Fiction is a kind of special one. We add an extra syllable in the middle. Fiction, fictitious. A-L, I-A-L. Mental, influential. With influential, we start with influence, which ends in C-E, and we change the C to a T and add I-A-L. Influential. Notice that with, with this word, there's also a stress change. For example, influence, the stress is on the first syllable. Influential, the stress comes right before the ending. Cause, causal. Notice we're dropping the final E here to add the AL ending. Cause can be a verb or a noun. Causal is an adjective. IVE, creative, negative. Create with a final E. The silent E is dropped and IVE is added. ISH, foolish, greenish. No change in the ending here. But with words like red and blue, there's a change. With red, you have a short consonant before, excuse me, a short vowel before a consonant. In order to protect the short vowel, you add an extra consonant. So you double the D. Red, reddish. With blue, there's a silent E, which is dropped before we add the ISH. Blue, bluish. I see, generic, specific, seen. Drop the final E, scenic. Romance, romantic. This is kind of like influence, where the final C, E is changed to T before adding the IC ending. Romance, romantic. We also have a shift in the stress pattern. Romance, the first syllable, is emphasized. Romantic, the second syllable, is emphasized. Why? Thrifty, glossy, lazy. Spice, again, there's a silent E. It's changed to Y. Drop the E first. Fun, we have a short vowel before a consonant, which means that we need to double the consonant before we add the Y. Fun, funny. ING, interesting, amusing. Again, these are blue to indicate that they also are verb endings. Bore, drop the silent E. Boring, amuse, drop the E, amusing. Bored, embarrassed, ED, ending. Bore, bored. In this case, instead of adding an ED, we simply add a D because there's already an E there. Satisfy, drop the Y, change it to I and add ED. Satisfied. A-B-L-E. Available, reliable. Again, 
the word rely ends in a Y, so we're going to drop the I and add an I before the suffix A-B-L-E, reliable. When you have a short vowel sound before a single consonant, so you're going to double the consonant, winnable, before adding the ending. I-B-L-E, flexible, incredible. Now, in this case, it seems like the whole word changes. We have the word creed. When we change it into an adjective, we change the pronunciation and the spelling. So instead of creed, it becomes credible. So we drop one E and change the pronunciation from E to E and then add the I-B-L-E. With eat, there's a similar change. We change the whole word. Eat, edible. With eat, you have a long E sound. You change that to a short E sound. We change the T to a D and add I-B-L-E. Eat, edible. Next, A-R-Y. Primary and voluntary. With this one, there are some words that completely change. For example, third becomes tertiary. The word itself changes almost completely. Then we have judicial, judiciary. We add I-A-R-Y. Now, judiciary can be a noun or an adjective. E-N-T. A -N -T. Again, these endings can sometimes be used as nouns. That's why we put them in a purple color. Some adjective examples would be distant and consistent. With different, the ending is added without changing anything in the verb or the word or the ending. But with words like valor, in order to make it into an adjective, we have to add I-A-N-T, valiant. How about adverbs? Changing adjectives to adverbs can be tricky. Because of that, we have created a separate video for you. Please check out the link below this video. Changing adjectives to adverbs. Review word endings. These are verbs and adjectives. Take a minute to look at the chart below and see how these all fit together. Try to remember what you just learned. Are you ready for more endings? The biggest list is the nouns. There are so many of them that we'll divide them into two parts. Word endings, nouns. The first and second column indicate word endings for nouns that are people or persons. The third and fourth columns indicate nouns that are activities, fields, or qualities, as well as examples of them. Let's look at the first two columns to start with. ER or IER, teacher, cashier, OR, actor, mentor, ESS, actress, waitress, EER, volunteer, EUR, entrepreneur, EE, employee, trustee, IST, AST, artist, gymnast, MAN, WOMAN. We can also change this to the plural, MEN or WOMEN. For example, salesman or salesmen, 
saleswoman or saleswomen, person or people, salesperson, salespeople, IAN or AN, electrician, vegan, IC, mechanic, psychic, ANT, ENT, accountant, agent, IAL or AL, official, principal. The ones in purple indicate adjective and noun endings, both. In this case, we're using the nouns as examples. Let's look at column three and column four. T-I-O-N or A-T-I-O-N, reaction, communication. S-I-O-N, vision, confusion. M-E-N-T, document, requirement. N-E-S-S, -S, happiness, kindness. U-R-E, architecture, seizure. L-O-G-Y, biology, genealogy. I-S-M, journalism, activism. I-T-Y or T-Y, activity, specialty. T-R-Y, dentistry, carpentry. Y, philosophy, botany. I-C-S, linguistics, mathematics. A-N-C-E, E-N-C-E, -E, distance, preference. I-N-G, accounting, swimming. Again, the blue ones indicate that they can also be verbs. In this case, they're indicating nouns. For example, swimming is a fun activity. Practice time. Fill in the blanks with the correct endings. Let's see how you can do. You should be able to determine the part of speech from the context of the sentence. Go ahead. Feel free to stop the video if you need more time to complete this. Here are the answers. Denny is a great actor. He can relate well to the main character. Please organize the file. The accountant says it looks awful. What should I major in? Sociology, Journalism, or Linguistics. That video was hilarious. The employees couldn't stop laughing. The professor was so boring. We felt really sleepy in his class. Jen was careless. She dropped her fishing pole in the water. Biff is too flexible. He needs to strengthen his management skills. We hired a new electrician. The old one was lazy and unreliable. How many volunteers do we need for the swimming tournament? Can you clarify what you just said? It was incomprehensible to me. Hope that was helpful. Don't forget to check out the links in the description below. And please remember to subscribe and give us a like in the comments section. Thanks for watching. 
If you have ideas for our next video, please let us know. Send us an email from the web page below.